Hello, hello. This is Taz. Welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today I have a special presentation of a brand new style by Ellen Villa. This style gives you a certain a claw. Coming up. This wig style was sent to me by Wig Studio One for this review today. If you expand the description box below this video, you'll find a link directly to this product. You can explore pricing, uh, colors, and more details. If you have any questions for Wig Studio One, you can always email support at wigstudioone.com or from any product page on the website. If you scroll down and hit the help button, you'll be connected with a live chat. This new style released by Ellen Villa is a part of their Hair Society Part of Me collection. And those styles represent very high quality workmanship, um, very realistic styles and so forth. We're gonna go through all of that today. This is the style named A Claw, E-C-L-A-T, in the color Pearl Blonde Rooted. So let's discuss this Pearl Blonde Rooted. I don't have any color codes to show you, but I can tell you that based on my experience, this is this Pearl Blonde Rooted is different from any other presentation of this color that I have seen on Ellen Villa Styles. I don't know if it's just in the, the uh, Hair Society Part of Me collection, if it's just on this piece, but I gotta tell you, it looks almost identical to that Raquel Welch Shaded Biscuit that I love so much, um, right down to the details. So what we have is a mixture of <clears throat> some honey blondes, some ash, darker ash blondes. Then you've got some pearl platinum highlighting that really brightens it up. They take the highlight right up to the root. The color distribution of highlights and so forth, again, very, very dimensional. So this is neutral to cool in tone overall. You see a lot of dimension and depth on this color. Don't you think that it really resembles that shaded biscuit? Also right down to that medium brown root. So let's discuss éclat. Éclat is a French word that translates to sparkle. So you might have a certain sparkle about you when you're wearing this wig. I know I feel that way wearing this style. It just makes you feel really pretty. It's a mid-length, tousled, wavy style and it has some absolutely realistic and beautiful cap features to it. So in the front, you're gonna see a four and a half inch bang area. So let me just tell you that I brought this right out of the box. I inspected it, I removed the tags, made my adjustments, and then I tried just to find a parting space. And if you're really keen in the eye, you might notice that today I have my part a little right of center instead of a little left of center. And that is because when I tried to part it a little left of center, the curl just wanted to go the other way. And sometimes to find the best and most flattering look, you need to be able to uh, be flexible in your parting options. So the right of center part for me actually gave me a little more uh, flattering look around the face this time than the left. Sometimes with curly styles, you can see a lot of variance from style to style. And a lot of times you gotta make friends with your curls by going with the grain of the curl. If you try to make it something that it's not, you'll be very frustrated because <laughs> that is an exercise in futility sometimes. Now I wanna point out immediately right away that this is a heat friendly fiber. It feels very, very soft, velvety. It feels very much like the Raquel Welch heat friendly fiber does. And so just have that in mind that you can always take some heat styling tools to tweak this and customize it a little bit to your preference. You could add curl, you could loosen curl with heat. I always prefer to use the heat from my hands on all of my wig styles. Um, I didn't really have to do anything at all but find a parting space that was acceptable to me for this review, which again was a little bit right of center, so that little bit of a contour was there because what you're actually looking at is the back side of a curl that I had flipped from one side to the other. And I'll be looking at some other options for parting in the styling segment a little later on in the video. So overall, a claw is about 12 to 13 inches. 
Now, the really exciting part about this, I think, is the cap. Um, if you really are a fan of those handmade caps that bring you extreme, that extremely luxurious feel and comfort level and realism, you're going to love, you're really going to love this. So let's talk about this. Let's first get up close on the lace front. So it is an extended lace front. It does go back into the ear tab and it is absolutely exquisite on this piece. All the seams are obscured. The knotting is very, very fine on this. It blends seamlessly with my skin tone. It hugs the head nicely. And then that lace front does head back into a fully hand-tied single monofilament top. And I have to say that they did not over-thread that monofilament on top. The Any parting space that you select is going to be perfect. You can definitely see through to that monofilament from any angle on the top for a nice realistic scalp appearance. So the style weighs just under four ounces at 3.75. It feels very lightweight on the head. And I'm gonna discuss cap fit with you here in a little while. Um, in terms of permatease, you're gonna find a little permatease. Even though this is a hand-tied cap, we do have some strategic permatease. Most of it is gonna be right there at the nape. Um, so you're gonna find a little there. There will be some all around that monofilament part. Now this hand tied cap does have some integrated wefting and some areas where you can actually attach a little bit of permatease here and there. I don't think it detracts at all from the realistic look of this style. You can gain a little bit of volume, so I, I appreciate the way this was done. I think it is super well done and really holds up the style. So this curl pattern is just sort of a lazy, tousled curl. Like it started out as more of a bigger barrel curl and it was deconstructed along the way, leaving it with a soft tousled look. The movement is beautiful. And in the product photos, they really show you a nice uh, separated look, you know, more of an air dried beach type wave. I think you could probably achieve that with just a simple squirt of water and a scrunch. First, I'm going to clear the elephant from the room right away. A lot of you are saying, gosh, Taz, are you sure that's not Raquel Welch's editor's pick <laughs> in my favorite shaded biscuit? Um, you've seen that wig on me quite a bit, so no wonder this looks completely familiar. I'm going to be working on a comparison, but I can tell you that they're nearly indistinguishable uh, from one another based on the pieces that I have. Okay, so we're gonna clear another elephant in the room. <laughs> um, these elephants that are in the room, I just can't stand it. I have to address it, right? <laughs> um, I don't talk about price of wigs very often in my wig reviews. Pricing is a very subjective matter in a lot of cases. So the prices are always set by the manufacturer, not the online retailer. Um, the online retailer can adapt a standard industry discount, but all of that is approved through the manufacturer. So on this Ellen Villa's A-Claw, this price as of the date of this filming is around $616. Like, oh, right? <laughs> now, Ellen Villa is one of the brands that do allow the standard industry discount of 30% all the time. So you'll always get at least 30% off of this style at Wig Studio One. It's an automatic discount. You don't have to do anything but add it to your cart. But it is pricey. Now that's not based on my opinion and in my ability to afford a style because we all have different budgets and things like that. But just based on peer pricing, I like to look at this style next to its peers. So if you take like a Raquel Welch's uh, Editor's Pick Elite, um, I think the price tag as of the date of this filming is around $466. And it's almost identical in structure and quality and craftsmanship to this one. Um, now, Raquel Welch is one of those brands. They don't allow a an, an all-day, everyday uh, industry discount. Uh, each online retailer gets a certain amount of days that they can run sales on those items. So 
gosh, you can still capture a 20 to 30% discount on a Raquel Welch Editor's Pick Elite um, and pay a lot less for it. Now, I don't like pitting brands against each other, but I also really like to give my opinion on the, uh, the comparable quality and things. The other thing that is sort of an elephant in the room here is the fact that there are only, I think there's only seven colors available on the Eclat by Ellen Villa, and there are no red options. There are three or four brunettes and two to three blondes. That's it. So if you are, if you're really excited about this style and you go out and look and it doesn't have a, a suitable red or uh, blonde for you, then that's another reason you might want to turn to some of the similar styles on the market. So again, I think competition is really good for this industry and for the consumer. I think competition actually um, creates a lot of buzz in the wig community about the new styles coming out. They um, they kind of compete against one another for the new styles and the ones that are going to be really popular among wig wearers, and we're all excited about that. But I also think that uh, pricing um, is another reason why we can how we can win in a competitive marketplace. But I think what's happening out there now, especially now we are June 2021, is that all cost of goods are going up. Uh, labor is going up. Uh, just cost of goods in general, that's a combination of, you know, some artifacts from the COVID pandemic that uh, it affected the labor markets, even, you know, that was a global thing. So even overseas where most of these are made, um, we also have a, a bit of cost of of living increase here in the United States with inflation and so forth. So economically, we've got supply chain issues. So I know this has been a problem across the wig industry. The wig industry did not luck out on this one. <laughs> so you will see probably price increases across the board on most wig styles. I know that's disappointing. And we all know that uh, just from experience that sometimes when wig prices or any prices of anything go up, they never ever come down. Even if the economy changed in a way that would yield lower cost of, of, of goods, I don't think we're gonna see prices come down. So I think budgeting for certain pieces is gonna be really important. And also really tuning into those wig reviews that are gonna help you make better buying decisions. So here's a look at the inside of the cap. There's that wonderful lace front. It does extend back into the ear tab here. It's nicely contoured. The knotting is super fine. There's a seam that leads back into that single monofilament top that is beautifully threaded there for a nice natural look. All of the seams are wrapped in velvet. We have a nice velvet ear tab with sturdy stays. Lots of fiber spliced in, all of the seams are obscured. There's an extended felted nape here with uh, Velcro style adjusters. Now you'll notice I had to cinch those in and crisscross them to get a proper fit on this style. I believe this is probably average right out of the box. It's probably a little more suitable though for average to average large than a petite. And then here's your hand tied panels some cluster knots there, some darts and seaming. You've got some integrated wefting all the way around, the support wefting there. And then you'll find some permatease there at the wefting as well. Beautifully constructed cap by Ellen Villa. So as I 
explain, this is right out of the box. I just selected a parting space a little differently than I normally do. Other than that, no product, and I didn't do any brushing or styling of this wig. Let's try with glasses, especially sunglasses, because you're gonna want to show this off. It's just the right length for summer, but they do fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab on this style, so I don't think you'll have any problem as a full-time glasses wearer with this style. Thank you so much for joining me today for a special look at Ellen Villa's A Claw in Pearl Blonde Rooted. Be sure to check it out at Wig Studio One. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.